Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great day so far. This video is coming out just in time for New Year's Eve, so I want to start by wishing you all a very happy new year. Okay, you saw the title, you clicked, so you know that today's video is all about Pilates, and more specifically about the Pilates class four weeks beginner challenge. By the way, this video is not sponsored, this is just me sharing my experience because I love to exercise, it makes me very happy, and I'm hoping that maybe I can motivate you to move your body and maybe try a new workout. So here we go. Why did I decide to try this challenge? I enjoy working out and I have been doing bar for about two years now, which is like a ballet inspired workout, but I was kind of looking for trying something new and I also wanted to try a workout that was more specifically working out the core because having a strong core is super important for like posture and improving back pain and also i feel like it's one part of my body that i've always kind of struggled with a little bit so i just wanted to you know give it some extra attention i had heard about the pilates class from a friend uh, on instagram who was posting about it and from there I just looked it up and I thought it looked like a really cool platform with a beautiful design, nice variety of classes and you know, pretty girls doing cool workouts and pretty clothes, which is basically all I need to get me started and get motivated. And you get a first week for free. So it was like a no brainer. I could just try it out very easily. So I tried it out for a week and I loved it, but I felt like I needed to start from the beginning if I wanted to get the most out of the classes. Like I needed to learn the techniques first. And then I found the four week program on the platform and I thought this is exactly what I need. So let me show you how it went. So week one, Monday, we started with the beginners intro class, which is exactly as the title say, really like an introduction class, focusing on the core, the balance and the booty. On day two, we had a 10 minutes beginner abs workout, which started with some breath work and then some killer ab moves. Day three, Wednesday, was the first of many walk days within this program. On Thursday, we had another beginner's class, this one with a big focus on the booty. And yep, that hurts, tap it out. And we had a nice break on Friday with a 14 minute stretching class. On Saturday, I had a 10 minute arm workout. And even if these moves look silly, do not be fooled. They are very hard. I got very hot very quickly. And on that same day, I did something a little bit special. I went to meet out with some other members of the Pilates class that live in Montreal. We met at the MTL Pilates lab, which is downtown Montreal, and we did a reformer class. If you never did a reformer class, be ready, it hurts. I got super sweaty, but it was so satisfying. And after with the girls, we went to Café Parvis just to grab a coffee, get lunch and get to know each other. And it was such a pleasant day. The last day of week one was a rest day. So here we are in week two, day one, Monday. For week two, I changed the orders of the video a little bit just to fit my schedule better. So on Monday, I did the Wednesday class, which was a one-on-one -on -one technique, which was my first technique class and really exactly what I was looking for. Great way to learn more about basic of Pilates. On Tuesday, I did the 13 minutes toned arms video, which again, these moves may look silly, but they burn. On Wednesday, I did the Monday class, which was a technique essentials video, which is exactly what I was looking for with this program. So it was a very complete class and we introduced planks, which is something I really wanted to get better at. So I really enjoyed this video. Hey guys, it is Thursday and today's workout is actually take a walk. So it's not a Pilates, which I enjoy. However, the only time I had today to walk was like coming back from my class is actually exactly a 30 minute walk. So I'm just walking here at night in the street to get my walk in. It's working, but I'm carrying like a bunch of things. So not ideal, but we're not not doing the walk for today. 
on Friday I had a back strength video and it was the first day where I was not feeling motivated to work out. I think this is the first day so far that I'm not really motivated to do the class. Not really in the mood but gotta do it. At least the class started with some breath work and some stretches which is really is my favorite way of starting any workout. So in the end it wasn't that bad, it was a pretty good class and I'm really glad I did it. For the weekend the schedule had some pretty relaxing videos including this one which was a leg elevation video which is exactly what I'm doing. just putting your legs up for a few minutes. We did some meditation. There was a walk day and a rest day. And we are now halfway through this four weeks challenge, starting week three, day one, Monday, just trying to get motivated and wake myself up. I switched up the schedule again and did the Tuesday's video, which were a quick arms and abs workout. On Tuesday, I did the Monday video, which was a floor class. I thought it was going to be an easy video, but I was wrong. Even if everything is done on the floor, it was still very challenging, including this combo that included some push-ups. We worked the booty, we worked the back, but it was a really good class overall. On Wednesday, I had two videos to do. There was a 10 minutes beginner booty and a one-on-one -on -one technique class. So it was a pretty good workout day. On Thursday, we had another walk day, which I really enjoyed. On Friday, it was a bar class video, which is a workout I've done before. So it was nice to try it again. The thing with bar is that it may look easy because it is very graceful and ballet inspired, but it is very hard. It really burns as you can see in my face right now, but it felt really good afterward. Oh, you got, you got sweaty today, guys. Can you see? No. Anyway, I have a sweaty mustache, sweaty forehead, but we did it. Good job. The schedule for the weekend was pretty chill with a meditation and stretching video on Saturday and a rest day on Sunday. And just like that, week three was over. It's time to get started with week four. Good morning. It's cold today. Like the apartment's cold, it's cold outside. So I'm all bundled up. We have 39 minutes to do this morning. This is the longest video so far. Last week of this challenge, so let's let's get this started. Traditional flow. I really enjoy this longer traditional flow video. We had time to stretch, do breath work, and also do some harder exercises. Tuesday was another walk day and this time I had a buddy come with me, which was very nice. Wednesday was the last Technique Essentials video of the program, so it was really the time to put everything that I've learned so far together. Thursday was another nice 30 minutes walking day. Friday was an energy boost video, which was the first of this kind in this challenge. I have now learned that there are many other energy boost videos on the platform. It was a very challenging class. I guess the perfect way to end this challenge, it included some combos, including this tricep and booty one, which was very hard, but oh so satisfying. And here we are today, the last day of the four weeks challenge. After only four weeks, I can say that I already feel stronger. I feel like I have now a better technique and I feel like the classes are not easy to do. Like some of them are still very challenging, but they are easier for me to get through them. And I feel really good about myself. I feel good when I do the classes. So I think I'm hooked now. The four weeks challenge really offered a great variety of classes from some easier one to some more challenging ones. And of course the technique video, which I really enjoyed. I also think it helped me develop a habit to go on walks more often, which is such an easy way 
to get your body moving, get some fresh air. And it really is something that I enjoy doing and I think like I want to do more of it, especially since I work sitting at a computer 40 hours a week. So I think that moving forward, I'm gonna try the weekly programs that the platform offers, which is like you have a bunch of classes from Monday to Sunday, including some days that you just need to go for a walk. I find it very pleasant to have a program that's kind of designed like this, so that way every day I don't need to like go through the whole catalog and choose what I need to do and I feel like it also ensures that I do maybe a bigger variety of classes otherwise if I would only pick exactly what I want to do maybe I would just end up always doing the same thing. I think this is not a surprise if I say that overall I love the Pilates class platform, I really enjoy the four weeks beginner challenge and I want to keep going with it. I also love the Pilates class community that is here in Montreal. I'm so glad I got to meet some of the girls and we got to enjoy a workout together and get to know each other. And I'm looking forward to meeting up again. On that note, I will go do my last video of the challenge, which is a nice full body stretch, which I feel like is the perfect way to end this challenge. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it motivated you to try a new workout or at least go move your body. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.